All right, this is going to be the first one of these that I've done. Um, but today I got a bunch of cards in the mail, so I thought it might be fun to go through each of the cards. I've actually started buying a bunch of vintage cards on whatnot, uh, and I'm learning after this first really big shipment came in that I need to start being a little bit more particular and careful with what I'm buying uh, because a lot of the cards came in and they were not in as good a shape as they appeared or were sold as. So we're going to start off uh, and go through the cards and show you what I got. And then I'll kind of tell you guys what I think the grades are for them. And maybe give you an idea what I thought they were going to be when I bought them. Now I will preface this by saying I am still new to grading and what grades are. Never sent any cards in personally myself yet. Uh, I'm just kind of going based off of research, looking at what graded cards, vintage cards look like um, in the slab. And I've been paying a lot of attention on eBay and, and trying to use those cards as a guide for figuring out what some of these vintage cards are worth. So without going any further uh, with explanation, I'm going to go into it here a little bit and tell you what I think and Whoever's watching, feel free to let me know what you think if you think I'm wrong about anything. So, first card here is a Fergie Jenkins. Oh, sorry, no. First one is Juan Marischal. This is, oh, I'm very zoomed in here, but that's okay. You can see the card's good. But this is a Juan Marischal 1974 Tops. When I bought it, I thought it might be a a six or a seven, uh, maybe even an eight. It was a little hard to see on the stream, but after I got it, I think I'm being a little ambitious. Uh, I don't know if you can see very well, but right there is an imperfection that I did not see on whatnot when I was watching. And it actually feels like it goes through to the back. So at some point, somebody punched through and created a divot from the back through to the front. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but uh, probably not. But along the side here, there's also some wax buildup. Even comes into the middle a little bit. So I could get that off. That might be okay. The corners are looking really good. But... Got a little imperfection right here and another one right there that's kind of hard to see but couldn't see those on the camera and whatnot when I was buying them but I saw the corners look good the centering looked pretty darn good and I thought it had a chance at an eight but again once I saw uh, this little mark and this little mark and then the bump over here I knew I was being ambitious with it so I might end up just selling this one raw I might send it in I haven't decided yet but all of these cards I bought with the intention of getting them graded but that's one that might not be doing that anymore just after seeing it in person um, I'm excited we have a a local card show coming up this weekend so I'm excited to be able to buy some cards that I can see in person before buying, unlike what I've been doing on whatnot. Next card is Fergie Jenkins 1969 Tops. This card is really nice and maybe even a little bit better than I thought it was on stream when I was watching the Whatnot channel. I thought this thing was going to be a seven or maybe a seven and a half at best but you can see the corners I mean they are sharp for a 69 
it's incredible left to right centering is pretty good a little bit off a little bit tilted skewed more towards the right and a little bit more skewed towards the bottom but not too bad um, there's not really any surface issues the color might be a little bit faded but overall this card is really nice and definitely sending this one in still um, but originally I was thinking like seven six comfortably but now after seeing it in person I, I think it's actually maybe got a chance at an eight so that one will definitely be going in for grading uh, once I get enough cards to send in for the the bulk submission deal going on right now with PSA next one is the Rod Carew 1974 this one's a little bit worse shape than I originally thought. When I saw it on Whatnot, I thought it was going to be maybe a 7 or an 8, but now in person I think it's going to probably be more like a 5 or a 6. I don't know. Um, corners aren't as sharp as they looked online. There's some rough edges here. I think 5 is a little ambitious. I think four might be more likely with how rough this right edge is and some of the corners aren't nearly as crisp as they looked on the stream. So I think I'm probably going to, I really like Rod Crew, I'm probably just going to keep this one raw. I bought it because I like Rod Crew, not because I wanted to necessarily grade it. I mean, I did want to grade it, but that was one I bought just because I am a Twins fan and I'm too young to have watched him play myself but i know who he is obviously and i am a fan next one we got mike schmidt 1974 tops this one on the stream looked beautiful the streamer was just pumping it up as you gotta grade this this is great it's amazing he even mentioned that he thought it might get an eight or a nine couldn't really see on the stream, but it showed up, and you can see here in both of the top corners, there's some light creases. Um, I guess they'd probably be wrinkles because they do not go through to the back. But the two bottom corners look pretty good. So this is one that I'm super disappointed about. I definitely bought it with the intention of sending it in for grading, but probably going to just uh sell this one raw or keep it for my collection i haven't decided yet but it's not going in for grading those wrinkles i think are going to hammer it way too hard and the bottom right corner actually has some uh, the paper's a little bit loose as well i don't know if you can see it but yeah so bummed about that one but like I said, I've uh, been learning my lesson, and I'm learning which streamers I can't really trust very well, and which ones I can, because some of these are definitely as advertised, and some of them are nowhere near advertised, and again, like, it's, it's kind of hard to see on the stream sometimes. This, however, is one... That came back really good looking. This is 1974 Topps Carl Yastrzemski. Um, originally, I thought it was going to maybe be a 7 or 8. I still think it might be a 7, but 8 probably a little ambitious because there's a little bit of print marks. But overall, the corners are really sharp. Corners are really sharp. And the card is clean, no wax, colors look great. Not really any divots or anything. Uh, the surface looks good. Centering is off a little bit, but not too, too bad in the back. A little bit of, on this corner here, but overall it's pretty good. So I think I'm still going to be sending that one in for grading. Uh, it's maybe one grade lower than I thought it might be, but I think it's still going to be good. Next one, we got another Carl Yastrzemski. This time we got a 1967. 
This one is definitely about what I thought it would be when I saw it on stream. My guess on stream was six or seven. I might be leaning a little bit more towards seven now that I see it in person, but I don't think it, it goes above that. There's a little bit of wax up here that I can get off. And right here, there's a little wax that I should be able to get off as well. But overall, colors look great. Corners look good. I'm thinking once I get this wax off and this little bit of residue off, I should be able to get a seven, I think. I'm hoping. I'm hoping this back corner and, and this the wax comes off so I can get a seven. Let me know what you guys think. Am I being too ambitious? I don't know. I think the edges look really good. And uh, everything just looks really sharp on that card. Other than the wax, which I should be able to get off. Got another uh, card that came as advertised. Really, really excited about this one. We have a 1974 Dave Parker. On stream, I thought it'd be a 7 or 8. In person, I still think it's going to be a 7 or 8. There is nothing wrong with this thing. It is beautiful. Corners look great. Maybe a little nick there that I actually just noticed through the camera. <laughs> I didn't see it before. And centering, again, it's a little bit off, but I don't think it's enough off that they're going to prevent it from getting a 7 or an 8. Back is really clean. Again, centering on the back isn't perfect, but from what I hear, PSA isn't super, super hard on backs. Uh, grading, it's more SGC and other companies that ding the back centering a lot more harshly than PSA. Now this next one is a little bit different than I originally thought. Jim Kelly, 1987 Tops. This is another one the streamer was super, super pumping it up. Um, I thought it would be a, a 9 or a 10 after seeing it in person. There's a, little, a few small dings like right down here. I don't think it's going to get a 10, but I still think it's got 8 or 9 for sure in it. Looks really sharp. Surface is clean. No need to even try to get any wax or anything off. No issues with corners. I think it's a really nice looking card, so I'm definitely going to send it in still. I just maybe one grade lower than I thought it would be originally. Realizing I should have just taken all these cards out of the sleeve before I recorded, but I did not. This one we got 1963 Tops Bombers Best on stream. This was definitely a more blurry stream that I was watching. And another one that the streamer was really pumping up the condition. I thought it might be a 5 or a 6, maybe even higher, uh, but I thought... Five or six is realistic. Now I'm thinking in person, four, maybe five is more realistic. I don't know how well you can see, but this corner, it's pretty sharp, but there's a little corner wrinkle. A little corner wrinkle. Some color loss. Bottom edge again, color loss. Bottom corner again, some color loss. Centering is okay not amazing but i'm gonna still send this one in but rather than thinking maybe it's a five or a six i'm thinking it's probably a four but i'm hoping for a five next one i honestly only bought because it w was super cheap <laughs> i wasn't watching the stream thinking i'd be buying a card from someone i don't even know how to pronounce his name I think it's Ted Klejewski or Klejewski. I, I don't know. Klejewski is my guess. We have a 1956 Tops on stream. Again, looked cleaner than it is in person. 
I thought it was going to be a 7 or an 8. Now that I see it in person, I'm thinking more like a 5 or a 6 is probably more realistic. There's some... Uh, I don't know what this is, just some wear, I guess, on the top. A little bit of discoloration on the white all around the card. A little tiny bit of a wrinkle on that corner. A little nick on that corner. A little wrinkle there. And the centering's not perfect. It's a little, little uh, shifted to the top and to the left, so... Not sure. I'll still send it in just because, like I said, I got it for super cheap. It was like, I think a couple bucks that I paid for it. So we'll send it in, see what happens. But this is another one that I need to just realize when the stream's blurry, just don't buy anything. Just go to another stream that is more clear. Next one I am super excited about. The one thing is, I believe, they put it in uh, a one-touch. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show it on the camera, but you can tell the nick. The nick on the card lines up perfectly with one of these little, I don't know how, there, like the corners right there. It lines up perfectly with that. And I think when they were loading it in the one-touch... It must have slid on them and the one touch pinched it. So there is an indentation on the card. And I'm pretty sure it happened after I bought the card. Because <laughs> this was a stream that was super, super crisp clarity. It's a, a streamer that I have learned every single time I buy a card from him. It is exactly like he says it is. And I just, I don't think he would have sold this card as hard as he did had he noticed this ding here. And like I said, it lines up exactly, exactly where that little corner notch is. So I'm guessing it happened after the auction when they were packing up the card to ship out. But card is still in really good shape considering it's from 1966 it is a mickey mantle 1966 really clean card color looks really good the surface is really clean the corners are amazing this corner has just a tiny little wrinkle to it and then this corner, not sure how well you can see it, but right there is the surface indentation. Uh, uh, I guess that's about as good as you're going to see. The corner looks amazing, and then there's that surface ding. That corner's amazing. The back is super clean. Again, not perfect centering, but really clean, really sharp corners. When I was bidding on it, I was thinking this thing is going to get a 7 or an 8. It is amazing. Now that I see this corner's got the little bit of a wrinkle, which I did actually know about that, but it looked and I thought it was maybe a little less than it is. And then this surface indentation, I'm... I'm guessing a 5 or a 6 is more realistic. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Like I said, I'm new to grading, so I'm not totally sure. But this thing is clean. It is really clean. I'm excited to see how that one comes back. We're definitely sending that in for grading. Actually, I'm just noticing there's a little bit of a... Maybe a little bit of a damage there with a bend to the card. I don't know. Either way, it's still going in for grading. I wonder if that that actually looks kind of shaped like the one touch too. wonder if they damaged it twice putting it back into the one touch. That's unfortunate if that's what happened. But we're still sending it in. Obviously, even if it gets a, 
a lower grade, it's still a Mickey Mantle. It's still going to be worth it to get that bad boy encased and protected going forward so it doesn't get any more damage. Next one, we got a Hank Aaron Sets Homer Mark 1975 Tops. If I can get it out of the top loader here without damaging it. <clears throat> it's a little rough. I knew that when I bought it. I just like the card, and it was cheap. It was like four bucks. Not gonna, not gonna get that one graded. That one's just because I'm a Hank Aaron fan, and I wanted it. Obviously, you can see along the whole edge and bottom. It's pretty nicked up. If I ever decide to get rid of it, I'll just sell it raw. I'm not gonna ever get that one graded, but I just liked it. I wanted it. Now this next one is the one I feel the most bamboozled on. I was trying to support a new seller. It was his first stream, he said. And he really, really played up this card as being super amazing. And oversold this thing for sure. And it was another case of blurry stream. Couldn't really see very well what, what he was showing, but I was trying to support him, and I'd been looking for a Hank Aaron, an older than a 75 Hank Aaron, and he had this one. We got a 1959 Tops Sporting News. Now, I'm not sure how well it's going to show with the lighting I've got, but it looks a lot better here in the camera than it does in person let me tell you this bottom is really beat up it's kind of hard to see it's like it's almost like it got wet it's a little bit raised there there's a wrinkle on it this corner is pretty beat up and it looked crisp on the stream this corner is a little beat up with the little fold again on the blurry stream it looked really crisp this one's actually the best corner for sure. I wish all of them were like that. Centering is off. Left and right, top and bottom. I knew that. Back is decent. Not amazing, but decent. You can see there's some folding all the way across the top in, in certain areas. When I bought it, I was thinking this thing is going to be a 6 or a 7. Now that I see it in person, 4 or 5, I think, is optimistic. Hopefully, I'm not sure if you can see through the camera as well, but that's what my thought is. I really, I think 4 is where it's going to land, but I'm going to hope it goes higher. I haven't decided if I'm going to still send it in. Uh, or if I'm just going to sell it raw. I don't know if I just want to kind of cut my losses and sell it. Or just keep it long term or what I want to do. I haven't decided. Next card is a Bob Gibson 1967. This one came in pretty much as expected. I saw it on stream. I thought it would probably be somewhere around a 6 now that I see it in person, I still think it's probably going to be somewhere around a 6. Centering isn't perfect. Overall, the card looks pretty nice, though. Small little corner crease. Pretty sharp corner. Small little corner crease. And a pretty sharp corner. Back looks pretty good. A little bit of corner wear. Discoloration. A little bit of paper loss and a little bit of wear but overall pretty good I think five is pretty safe and six is what I hope for on that one next one is another one that I wasn't looking for but it was cheap and it looked really sharp and it came in and it is pretty darn sharp I don't know I know some of you probably uh, know about the 1971 
tops line with the black is notorious, uh, notoriously hard to find clean cards. It's another guy, I don't know how to say his name, Tony Canigliaro is my guess. But it's pretty darn clean for a 71. It's another one that I, I it was a couple bucks, maybe, I think it was three or four bucks that I paid for this just because it's so clean. Looks like there might be a tiny little, it feels like it might be just a little bit of wax there. It, maybe not, that might just be a print line. But either way, I'm probably just going to sell this one raw. I don't think grading is going to really help me improve profits at all. But I'll sell it raw for, I'm guessing, more than $4.00. Next one, another one. I was not looking for vintage football, but I got it for a couple bucks. The colors are decent. Not like super amazing, but they're pretty good. Overall in pretty decent shape. Maybe like a four or a five. Not crazy, but not horrible. I'm just going to sell that guy raw. Again, I just got it for super cheap and seems to be selling for more than what I substantially more than what I bought it for on eBay and then the last one completely changing the theme of what I've been showing you so far there was one guy selling vintage all night and then there was a one person that kept begging for modern modern bring me modern show me modern show me modern and finally, at the end of the stream, he started pulling Modern out, and this person didn't buy it. So I got this for $2.50 after adding in shipping. But I got an Aaron Judge Optic The Rookies, and it's this cool blue with, like, blue speckles all throughout the card. It's in pretty good shape. I don't know how much it's worth, but... I'm guessing it's going to sell on eBay for more than $2.50 since it's Aaron Judge and it's a, the rookie's card, but we'll see. Uh, that wraps up what came in the mail today. I'm going to decide which cards are going in for grading and which ones I'm going to be selling raw or keeping. In the next uh, few days, there's a card show in town this weekend. I think I already mentioned that, but probably go pick up a few more cards and then get a shipment ready for PSA to send in during their special. But let me know below which card is your favorite. Let me know what cards you think are going to grade out. Do you think I'm accurate on my guesses or am I way off the mark? Like I said, I'm a newbie. I have no idea for sure. I'm just trying to go off comparisons from graded cards that I see, so... Let me know what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I do plan on making a video before I send out my shipment and just do an overview because there are some cards I already have set aside for grading uh, that were not part of the shipment. So I'll do a video on that before I send it out and I'll do another recap on the grade I think it's going to get, the grade I'm hoping for. And then once I get everything back and who knows, two, three, four months, hopefully not longer. Uh, I'll do a video reveal on what grades I got back. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you did. I'll be back for more when, uh, when I've got more stuff to show you.